So what's going on guys, my name is Mr. Dalek JD. welcome back to another Zombies video here today and on time of upload it is 115 day, it is the 15th of January so technically it is 115 day and Triarch are celebrating it by changing their social media profile pictures and banners to Nacta and Toten. This is clearly a symbolization of them celebrating where Zombies first started and it's awesome that they're celebrating it in this way for us but anyway today's video is going to be all all about Infinite Warfare Zombies DLC 1 Rave in the Redwoods. It's coming out in around about two weeks time and since the first trailer towards the end of December we've not heard anything about this at all. Like I'm hyped for it but if they don't release anything soon I am going to go mental because it's been almost a month since this trailer first dropped and we've had nothing since no other trailers screenshots nothing like that but lee ross over on his twitter has been dropping a few little tidbits of information about raven the redwoods and i thought as a way for us to build up the dlc one hype again we're going to be talking about the new things that we have discovered through his tweets now, our first new bit of info comes from xbox live gamer 901 on twitter where he tweets him saying what do you think players will look forward to the most or have to worry about when playing raven the redwoods and he says there is much to watch out for but the slasher is in a class of its own, like the brute, but much worse. This is something we see towards the end of the very first trailer, and a lot of people were speculating that this could perhaps be the new David Hasselhoff of the map, but I predicted it to be a new boss zombie like the brute, and we have that confirmed basically here, where the slasher is in a class of his own, he's like the brute, but much worse. Now I absolutely hated the brute, so the fact that we're going to get a boss zombie which is harder than the brute, or just worse than the brute, is something which I'm not looking forward to but if you see in the footage this thing walks really weird but really fast and I can't tell if it's got some sort of weapon in its hand or not but it reminds me a lot of Jason from the Friday the 13th movies. You can see as well this weird effect like some sort of swarm of butterflies or something is following the slasher as well so that's going to be really interesting to see how it works but apparently it's worse than the brute so that's good news. Not. Now, Lee Ross has also spoken about our cast are returning, but they have a whole new wardrobe change. And to celebrate Friday the 13th, a lot of people were expecting them to release a trailer. Now, to be honest, it would have been great timing, but it's just not how the whole system works, unfortunately. But instead, they gave us some concept artwork of the cast heading into the 90s, and he said there's more to come. So, for these images, we see all of our normal characters, such as AJ, Andre, Poindexter, and Sally and these guys look so different compared to what they look like in Spaceland. Now of course this is just concept artwork so this isn't what they're finally going to look like but if you compare even just what AJ looked like in Spaceland to now he looks a completely different person. All of them do to be honest and especially Poindexter with some ridiculous flares which I don't remember seeing in the 90s. He doesn't quite look very cool compared to the rest but they all look really different compared to what they look like. Lee Ross describes Sally, who played the Valley Girl, as a 90s West Side gangster inside of this, which is crazy cool. Just to confirm for those that are confused, someone asked, is the cast getting new names too, or are they sticking to their Spaceland names? And he said that OG cast is making a return, but will be filling entirely new roles in the 90s. Fish out of water, that's how Willard rolls. And then RD Joker goes on again to ask, can you give us any hints about a special guest star to replace the Hoff? Because I mean, there has been some speculation about a 90s celebrity such as the one they had in Spaceland of course 80s being Hasselhoff some people have gone oh would Will Smith be in this and you know me and Liam we love Will Smith but I don't think that would ever be a thing and he says nope sunglasses on emoji and that was pretty much it for the 13th but then yesterday he tweets cinematic work for raven the redwoods is complete the saga continues which means that the intro cutscene and possibly an outro cutscene as well has been finished and we'll be seeing that really really soon how do i know we'll be seeing this cutscene soon Someone asks, will we be getting a trailer for Just Zombies soon? And this is real kind of Dev Rockstar fashion here. He goes, does a bear shit in the woods? Now, of course, this is pretty obvious. Of course, a bear shits in the woods, which means, of course, you'll be getting a Zombies trailer soon. And other people asked, and he replies saying, before the DLC drops. And to be more specific, he says there'll be more details coming shortly, including a full trailer reveal and a full cinematic reveal. When? 
patience. And to one other person, he says lots more info dropping soon, including live streams, full trailer reveal, and cinematic reveal. Hang in there. So what does that mean? Well, if you remember, just before the release of Infinite Warfare Zombies, IW done a live stream showing around about half an hour of Zombies in Spaceland gameplay, which included the intro cinematic. And if we look back towards the Horizon Drag, a week before that map came out, we did get the proper full Zombies trailer, which was of course narrated by Dempsey. So it looks like on the 24th of January, that's when I'm predicting we'll be seeing the full trailer reveal for this new map where it's going to be specifically only Zombies gameplay within there, just like how they've always done it. But there'll be a live stream as well as a cinematic reveal, which is really awesome. Personally, I just love how Lee Ross is being so open and communicative with everyone on Twitter, just talking like a normal person and answering a bunch of questions and giving little teasers because let's be honest if we were in that position I think the power and feeling you'd get from just dropping little teasers and hints here and there would make you feel so damn awesome so it's good to get some clear word that we are getting something and then the final thing McChronic819 asks will there be any content added to Zombies in Spaceland in this DLC and he said fate and fortune cards transcend maps as does player progression which is really interesting because another question was answered very similar to this and it basically confirms that with this DLC we'll be getting brand new Fate and Fortune cards but they aren't specific to owning the DLC so that means they'll be coming out in a patch update which means even if you don't own the DLCs you'll still get to use these new Fate and Fortune cards. And I think that's really awesome because looking at Black Ops 3 all the Gobblegums were DLC specific until we had all the DLC packs released and then Triarch unlocked them all but before then you had to own a specific DLC pack to use those new Gobblegums so that is awesome. But with all that information, let me know down below in the comment section, are you excited for Rave in the Redwoods? The hype is slowly building and I think we just need something, even just the tiniest little bit of thing right now, be it a screenshot, a tiny, tiny little sneak peek trailer, just something to get our taste buds slowly moist for the anticipation of bigger reveals and of course the map. And you will catch everything on my channel as soon as that drops. If you're new around here, make sure to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on anything like that. But if you enjoyed the video, drop it a like rating, let me know all your thoughts down below and I'll catch you on another one soon.